Hello everyone, it's Melanie. I mentioned in my last video that um, I have been very inspired by an author named Linda Berry and I thought that I would do a quick um, little preview or review or whatever you want to call it of some of her books that I have and share them with you because if you are interested in journaling, I mean not, not specifically junk journaling, but just in journaling, in recording your days and writing about them. Um, she is very, very inspiring and I have found her books um, to be, I, I mean, they're just, well, you'll see, they're just incredibly inspiring. So this is the first book of hers that I bought, um, but I'm gonna flip through it last. This is, um, I think this one is from 2000, yeah, this one's 2014, but this is the first Linda Berry book that I bought. Um, it's called Syllabus. But I want to show you these two first. Um, these are books that I bought after I bought Syllabus, and they're called What It Is and Picture This. And this one, I think, is 2008. Yes, this one's 2008, and this one's 2010. And they're about two different subjects. This one is called, I mean, it's about, do you wish you could write? And this one is basically, do you wish you could draw? And Linda Berry is an author slash cartoonist. Um, and the first thing I wanna say about these is that if, if you're looking at this and you think, okay, that's not my style, you know, I don't, that they're so, you know, if you can get beyond her style and her colors, if it's not something that appeals to you, there is so much amazing information in here that it's totally worth it. So this book, Do You Wish You Could Write? This is, um, it's kind of divided into sections and it's literally, this is like an activity book for adults. I mean, it's just incredible. So the first part of this is, let's see, this blue part, the first part of this is where she kind of explained, talks about what it is, what does it mean to, to write about something. And it's, it's so, it's so hard to kind of describe what she talks about in these books, but, um, ah, I don't know, I just, so it's, it's almost about seeing. Um, she has exercises in here that get you thinking about things that you may have never thought about, you know, um, when you wanna write about something and you don't know what to write about. You know, she's got you thinking about things you never noticed before, you know. And and even if you don't like her style, this is um, the pages themselves. I mean, this is all collage that she's written on. You know, it's just a collage. I mean, they're, and the pages are just, they're, they're brilliant, you know, with all the doodling and the collage and the, and the text and then, and she's talking in here about um, about her journey into writing, and um, I just I can't I don't know. But this is what I was talking about, like the activity book. So, so this part, she actually goes into um, sort of exercises that you can go through on how to come up with things to write about, and looking at the world around you, and and pulling things from that to write about. And so this is about writing exercises and uh, this one is about, uh, she has here a writing session where she has you, you know, make this word, a bag, a word bag of, um, of words and then you pull out these words and you use those to, um, to, write, to write things about. So this book in particular is look at the collages this book in particular is about writing and it's called what it is and then this one is called picture this and this one is about drawing and this is probably when i say a drawing book this is pretty um non-traditional <laughs> you know this is a sphere and this is a line and this is you know it's it's not like this this is about Drawing from your imagination and drawing, um, I mean, it is about drawing, but at the same time, 
it's about seeing and how you translate that into into drawing and it has some activities in it too um, this one's divided into four seasons but the books themselves are just amazing to look through um, even if you know like I said even if you're not really into her cartooning style um, the the composition of the pages is um, is really fascinating really really fascinating all the collage and the the text and the doodles I just I love them so this one is um, picture this and then this is the first one that I bought of hers and this is actually uh, the notes and the syllabuses from a class that she taught at, um, I, I think may have been University of Wisconsin. I can't, I can't remember. I say that and then Wisconsin, yeah, I can't remember. I think it's University of Wisconsin. Um, so these are actually pages. Like this is the actual pages that she passed out to her class for the syllabus, you know? I mean, it's incredible. So this class that she taught to me is kind of taking both information from both her do you wish you could write and do you wish you could draw so this book is kind of, is both it's about journaling it's about daily writing exercises it's about things to write about it's about drawing it's about expressing yourself i mean this is about originality you know it's it's um oh i just i they're so, and then there's the fact that this book is constructed exactly like a composition book because that's what she had her class work in. Like here's a composition, I mean, it's, it's a composition book. So she goes through here and has you work in a composition book and th these are actually exercises that she would have her class do and, um, Things that she compiled out of, you know, things that her uh, class turned in. You know, these are pages her class turned in. But it's just every page in this. I mean, this is this is collage, little collage. She gave her students all these crazy names, parts of the brain. Um, it's just, I, and I, I mean, for me, it's just so inspiring. All this this doodling even just like around the page and the way that she incorporates quotes and drawings and so this is the part this is where she talks about your composition book and it's about a day for her class it was about a daily daily writing exercise um, and this was very, very interesting to me because she has you write about things that you did, things that you saw, and then each day you would draw a little picture and you would um, write something that you heard someone say. And so she goes through, there's different, um, different ways to approach it and then she goes through then she kind of switches you over to a different kind of page and but what she's having you do is um, kind of observe what's going on around you and it's it's really interesting when you think oh I have nothing to you know to write about but then at the same time you know she's saying you know where where are you what time of day or night is it what season is it Where's the light coming from? You know, what do you smell? What's directly in front of you? If you turn your head right, what's there? So it's, it's exercises and um, I mean, just look at it. <laughs> it's just every page is like a feast to the eyes, you know. And like I said too, even if this is not your style, the content within these pages, what she's saying, and you know what you get out of reading through this. And I know it's kind of awkward too to think of sitting down and reading this book front to back because of the way that it's that it's written. But it's um, it's it's really cool. This is a really cool book. I would highly recommend it if you're interested in actual you know journaling and writing and things like that. And then I won't share them all with you. But this is my, this was my first um, 
comp book journal that I made um, working from her book. So uh, this is just a composition, you know, you can see the, it's just a plain old composition book and I just sewed some scrapbook paper on the front and back. And when I started this in July 2016, I was going to try to do, fill this entire composition book in one month. Well, that turned out to be an absolute joke because it took me two years to fill it. But it, part of the problem was I was using um, my traveler's notebook also. So I was trying to write and put in, put things in two different journals at the same time. And, and that's how I got to figure this is, it's too hard for me to decide what to put in which journal. So I really, it, this is, it's kind of hard for me, but it started out, you know, with, I just put things from her book and then I started doing the daily, you know, the little daily exercises and recording things. And it's just, it was so interesting um, to do the journaling kind of in her. I even did some cartoons, <laughs> my own cartoons. It's just so interesting to do the journaling in her way. And like, I mean, here I didn't finish it. I didn't do something someone said, you know. Um, but there's just so many, I would, here I copied some things out of her book, you know, um, for the writing in exercises. And then here I did, this is some exercises that I did from her book. And this is like a writing exercise that she has you do. Um, here's a book that she recommended that I did order. Um, so it's, this is a lot of journaling, doodling, um, my thoughts, my, there's a list of my favorite 80s albums. There's some scripture. Um, just, it's interesting. It's a very interesting way of journaling. Um, and it's an interesting way for you to kind of observe what's around you and use that um, um, to make content for your journals. Um, this is... Shakespeare that I copied in here. Um, you know, there's just notes that from doing things in my garden, um, little watercolor drawings. And you'll notice this is, my thing was I didn't tear any pages out at all of, of this journal. If I did it in here, it stayed. And the way that kind of justified that was that, you know, this composition book cost me a dollar. So like I was saying in my last video, how, you know, when I have this $100 um, Japanese journal that I'm, you know, I don't, each page is predated for the day and I'm talking about my Hobonichi, you know, it's intimidating. Well, with this, it's like the book only cost a dollar. You know, it's not like I, I'm going to mess it up. So anything I do in here, you know, it doesn't really matter. So it kind of takes the pressure off of um, having to do something brilliant. So I didn't tear any pages out. There are no do-overs, no tearing out, no pressure, no rules. You know. And then something else, I've seen a lot of people, when they work in composition books, they glue pages together, and, and I did not do that. I used every single page, and if stuff bled through onto the, you know, the page before it, that was fine. Um, this, you can tell, I did this on a different, this I did on a piece of notebook paper and then glued it in. And I'll do another video where I can show you because I have, I'm on volume seven now of my composition books. And volume seven has kind of morphed into something totally different because I'm keeping two journals again. So anyway, I just wanted to share these with you because um, I have found Linda Berry to be incredibly inspiring and you can buy all of these books on Amazon. Um, I'll, I may link to them in the description down below, but um, if you actually enjoy journaling and writing, you know, you might want to pick one of these up because they're super inspiring. So that's all I have for right now, guys. And um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure and give me a like. Now, not that, that. Give me a like down below. And 
Leave a comment if you have a question. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I appreciate all my new subscribers. It's fun to um, read all your great comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.